it's, it's, it's an honor for me to be doing this show. You know, I like to meet people who I consider intriguing, man. My next guest, uh, she didn't get any university education, man. She, she ended up uh, senior high school, grew up in poverty and a bit of crisis. But I want you to take a look at some of her handiwork before she comes in. Just take a look at some of the shoes that she does strictly for men. Take a look at these. Is, she goes by the name Sandra Oswald, which is the brand, and she calls herself, oh, Kesem, just call me a shoemaker. <laughs> Put your hands together. She was a love for Sandra Oswald. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right. <laughs> Sandra. Daddy. Shoemaker. Yes. Welcome <laughs> to the show. Thank you. Why am I some more? I mean, this is amazing. But we're, going to, we're just going to pause for the course. When we come back, we're going to get into everything. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. By the way, folks, uh, you know, maybe you want to get my, 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 my footwork here. You know, I'm, I'm wearing this. Uh, this was made for me by, by Sandra. This is the first of the kind she's made in this line. <laughs> yeah. I have Jack as well. Look. look. <laughs> Sandra, it's amazing, man. And, and, and I was like, you know, the first time we, I was asking, oh, hey, so what was your university education? They told me, well, I don't have any university background. Oh. And your highest was a. Senior high. Senior high. Yes. And, and what I. Fascinates me about your story because I, I also know that at one point, as a young girl, during uh, March 6th parade, you, you couldn't even get a shoe to yes. go and... Yes, that was at the age of five. At the age of five, yeah. I started school at the age of five. Mm -hmm. yes. I lived with my grandmother in a very remote village uh, that was close to my hometown. Mm. Yeah. The village and your hometown was, is? Well, I'm here at the Brown region. Okay. Yeah, and the village was made of uh, only three houses. Three houses? Yes. Ours and two. Two others? Yes. And what the rest the of the village was forest. Because my mother had to leave me with my grandmother to go and work with my father in a different village. Mm. Yeah. To uh, at least so they can make some money for my wow. school. So you came from a village with only three houses? Yes. The rest is all bush? Yes. Yes. And, and I live with my grandmom. Go to a time I didn't even know my mother. When she comes around and she calls me, I ran back to my you grandmother. Didn't know her. I didn't know her. So when she was picking me back, it was quite difficult mm. for her. At what age was he picking you back? How At the age of five. Five. Okay. Okay. She, she wanted me to go to school. Mm -hmm. That was when I started school. Mm. So gradually she managed to pick me up and she brought me back to my hometown when fear to start mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have shoe. I, I used to go to school with um, what we call chelly water. Mm -hmm. It had some straps at the back mm -hmm. that would prevent me from slipping. Yeah, that was what I used to Where? wear to school. So I, I occasionally that I get some some poor second hand <laughs> made shoe. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. So um, during the sixth match, she has to beg for a shoe from her elder sister for me to join the sixth match. And we celebrated the sixth match in two days. The first day I got the shoe, the second day you she didn't. didn't yes, yeah, she, she said she was pregnant and she told my mom that um, she would be giving birth to a lady. So when she, she, she delivers, the, the, the girl will be wearing well, the, the shoe. shoe. So, so she has to keep the shoe for her child, the unborn child. Hmm. So she didn't give her the shoe. Wow. And my mother said, I cried, uh, but. Wow. 
And can you imagine that time going way back then crying because you didn't get shoes and now you're making yes. some of the yes. best yes. shoes in Yeah, life. when I was starting, my mother wasn't interested. But when she saw me going, she told me the story. And she herself w was inspired and she said, now she understand why God directed me to shoemaking. Wow. So she can, yeah, she can learn, man. <laughs> wow. So she, 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 but when we were studying, she was, she, she didn't like she it. She used to fight me. Sometimes we go and log at hers. We not talk for even weeks. Even when she prepares food and I'm around, she'll be like, if I, Really? Yes. She she said that she was just dead, yeah, dead said, against you going to shoot me. Yeah, she said it's for men. Mm -hmm. She didn't understand why all of the sudden I want to make shoe. Because she knew fine she wouldn't be able to help me go to the university but not shoe making. Mm -hmm. So she was she wasn't interested in anything about shoe making. How how did you develop that love for shoe making? Yeah, I I got the idea at a friend's wedding. Um, the groom was wearing a shoe which was made with an African print. Mm. And I, was, I got attracted to the shoe. So after the wedding, I called my friend, who was a bride, that your husband's shoe was very nice. Mm. It was made with an African print. How come? So now we take African prints to the foreign countries for them to make shoes. Yeah, for us. And he said, oh, it's made in Ghana. And I was intrigued by the fact that Ghanaians can make shoes. Wow. So I, I, told him, I told her that, can you give me the shoemaker's number? She gave it to me. She didn't know what. She you, thought maybe I was well, going to order some. Or yes. Yeah. So I called the shoemaker and I told him that um, I have an amount of 300 cities that I've been able to save. Can you please make some few shoes for me to start selling? Because I'm in the house, I'm not doing anything. And she told me that, okay. She was in, he was in Kumasi, so I traveled to Kumasi to meet him. Then we started business from there. With your 300? With my 300. Wow. How, how did you make that 300? What were you, how was it done? Yeah, initially, I said when I was in school, I was senior high, I used to sell ice cream and granite cakes. Ice cream? So, yeah, after I completed, I continued selling. Oh, so, okay. through that, I was able to raise that money. Oh, okay. So, that was the money you raised from selling ice cream and cutting cake. Yes. <laughs> you started a business with that. Fantastic. Fantastic. So basically, you, you were like a, 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 a distributor. You were selling. Yes, selling. I, was, I was going into offices. Mm. My first day, I was sacked from an office. They told me that they don't do that here. Well, you um, went to an office to go and sell the shoes? Yes, yes. And do you remember which office? It was uh, Ghana Cocoa Board. Okay. One of the offices, <laughs> yes. They sacked me. Wow. They sacked me, and I, 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 when I came out from the office, I, I felt some tears in my eyes, and I said, okay, it's well. But I went back home. I wasn't even interested in continuing mm. and everything. So, like, when I came home, I was there, and I was looking at the shoes, and something told me that, but you cannot wear these shoes, so you have to sell them and get back your money. Mm. So, the next day, I went to different, a different office, and I got some young guys, they even became my friends. They got me different colleagues to buy from me, and they became my customers. And I got, I, I fell in love with the work. Okay. Yes. So you're basically a shoe sales salesperson. Yeah. So later, um, it was going. Things were moving right. So I called the shoemaker that, um, can you come down for us to do this together? Because when I order for shoes, Later, it was delaying, mm. and, and when I told him, he was laughing because looking at a young girl like me, telling him to come to <laughs> <laughs> my hometown to make sure. He said she would come to the hometown. Yes, yeah. and he, he even asked me, do you have machines? And I told him, I don't have, but you have. <laughs> so bring your machines. Yeah, bring your machines. Let's work together. And he, he laughed, and he said, I hear you. I'll, I'll call you back. <laughs> Later, I was there. One day, he called. He said, I'll come. And I said, wow, you will come. He said, yes. Then I have to beg my mother for a room for him. And this woman <laughs> wasn't interested in what I was doing. Wow. I have to beg her. She didn't accept it. So I called my dad that she should at least talk to my mother. My dad told her that let's give her the chance mm. and see what happens. Mm. If that's what she wants to do, 
Mm -hmm. and give her that mm -hmm. a chance because mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do mm -hmm. to change her mind. Mm -hmm. So just so my mother offered me the family the family garage and then one bedroom in the house. I gave it to the shoemaker. He came with one scoring machine and one sewing machine, and we started, and I started learning from him. So, oh, so later. So you 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 being the salesperson, you now gradually started studying how you make it. Yes. Yes, because I mean, initially he didn't know I was learning. So one day he was looking at me and said, <laughs> You are smart too. I, I've seen what you're doing. I said, eh, Teach me. <laughs> and he said, Okay. But you should have told me that you want to learn. Mm. And I said, No, I didn't want to tell you. Maybe you wouldn't want to teach me. Yeah. He said, oh, Why won't I teach you? Wow. So from there he started teaching me. He left later on, but. Through him, I got to know more shoemakers in Kumasi. Mm. So I got some young shoemakers, including myself. We, we, we started the work and we started even training people around. And now I've been able to extend the garage into a factory. Wow. 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 So, so basically, you turned it into a factory and you were working with the locally trained people? Yes, yes. So um, there's this man, my co-founder, Kwaje Ebua, who actually made me register a brand for myself. Um, I was there. He said, my brand is in Oswald. I, I was there and he told me that you have to register your business yeah, so that you can pay taxes. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I said, okay, fine. How do I go by it? He said, okay, I'll help you. So we started together. And he was an university graduate. He was that time he was working with Kaza Trazako. He stopped and joined me because he said um, he felt I'm, I'm doing something great. There's wow. something great. In so he quit his job to get. He quit. And his he's job. a graduate. Yeah, he's a graduate. He quit a job to join me to do everything. So I I reg we, we, we registered, registered the, the business and afterwards um, the next thing was uh, when we were going to register the business. He asked me that one name would I want to use. And I told him, I should let me go and sleep. <laughs> so the next day, I'll, I'll tell him. And I read a story about a king who lived many years ago. He was a British king, a king of um, Northumbria. He was very generous and he was very kind. So I use his name, he, he's Saint Oswald. Because mm -hmm. of his generosity, he was made a saint after he died. He was King Oswald. Yes. So I used the name. So Oswald became your brand? Yes. Oswald is now the brand name. Wow. So, so now I'm, I'm wearing as well, huh? <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. Look, looking back yourself, how, how, do you, how do you feel? I mean, how, how, how big is your factory now? Well, my factory is big. It's big because um, I'm, I'm, I'm having almost 15 workers, including apprentices, and it's, it's big. And now the brand, the brand is one of the biggest brands in Ghana. Because mm -hmm. I'm having many of the celebrities endorsement. I'm making shoes for KKD, Seven Apia, Ajete Anan, a whole lot. Almost all the men. My case, the I'm joined. And you are, you are <laughs> That is fantastic. That is fantastic. You've done extremely well. Thank you. Wow. Now, what else do you do? Let's say you're not dreaming about shoes and things. What do you do for fun? Do you... Okay, I sing. Oh, you sing? Yes. Okay. I sing. Apart from my shoe-making skills, mm -hmm. I sing. Okay. Yeah. So and when, when, I'm, when I'm alone, I read. Because I've, I've not been to the university. I have to read so that when I'm invited into... Like, you know, when I'm invited to any place, I can speak. Mm -hmm. That's... So how does your mom feel now? Hmm. Now, <laughs> uh, I think um, last Saturday was my birthday. She called me. E, my daughter, I love you. God bless you. E, I'm proud of you. Uh, you. You have really made me proud. And I was on the phone and I said, hey, how you fought me? <laughs> I, I thought you were going to fight me today. Mm -hmm. she's, she's really proud of me. She must she's be. happy. Like, now when she, she said when she goes to church, people, will, hey, Sandra, Sandra's mother, Sandra's mother. Wow. She's, yes, wow. so now she's a proud mother. <laughs> <laughs> and, your, and your dad? 
Yeah. My dad too is really proud. He's really proud. I wasn't all that close to him. Mm. But now when I call him, how he will pick the phone fast? Yeah. Hey, Sandra, hey, wh what's the problem? Any any help anything for me to help you? Right. Like I feel the man Yeah, you have earned his respect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and and, and is, is Sandra dating? <laughs> okay, mm, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, okay, no, 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 yes or no. Um, <laughs> I want to start something, but I'm not that sure. You want to start something? But I'm not that sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not What's making you unsure? Uh, I just want to be careful. You want to be careful. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> And at this point that your company is really growing and, you know, you, you, you have to be careful, you know, yes, that you yes, find somebody. And I want to focus more on what I'm doing. I feel I've, I've not gotten to where you want to yes, be. Yes, because yeah. my dream is to compete with the Zara brand. Mm -hmm. Zara inspires me a lot. Mm -hmm. because, um, and mostly I'm inspired by per something which is done perfect. Mm -hmm. And Zara, you see, they have good work. Mm -hmm. And I want to grow to the point that there will be a challenge between me and Zara. Wow. Yes. Put your hands together, man. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's, a, it's an amazing story for somebody who could not afford shoes, you know, to grow up and become a brand in shoemaking. Yeah, it's a miracle to me. It is a miracle. Yeah, it's a miracle. And I guess it, it tells... Uh, when, I, when I talk to people like you, I'm so happy because I know there are so many in your age group and, and even older and younger who are listening who are going wow you know but all it took was your determination because yes. yeah yes because that time if if i wasn't determined i think i, I would stop because mm -hmm. the fight from my mom alone mm -hmm. was something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right and it wasn't all that easy yeah it wasn't yeah. easy at all yeah just in the cities that time i, I was i've been able to raise something small like i started selling with the third cities and as I'm, i was selling i was making profits so starting it wasn't easy mm. uh, did you ever see this far no even the celebrities coming in and coming on tv wasn't something that ever occurred to me mm. i never thought i would come on tv even i, I never thought this work would turn into a brand, mm. but I didn't know anything about brands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. it was my co founder who even drew my attention okay. on those exactly. things. Yeah. So, like, I never thought I would okay. get to this far. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, you have, you have done extremely well, and congratulations. And, um, is there like a, a contact the Facebook page, something that people yes. want to? Yeah, yes, when you go to Facebook, you search for Saint Oswald. You know, when you type in St. Oswald, you see a Facebook page, you follow, you go through our pictures, any type of shoe that you want, you're going to get it. And Instagram too, we are there. And when you go to the Junction Mall at Nungwa, search for the path out there, next to the MTN office, we are also there. You get some of our shoe over there. And our contact is 020 124 When you call, someone will attend to you. Shut the door, man. Shut the door. Oh no! <laughs> Sandra is a shoemaker, and is there any reason why you, you, I hear you just do only men's? Yes, it's it's because I want to be unique in my field. I want okay. to do something out of the ordinary. Okay, okay. So your concentration is just to focus on yes doing yes, and I want to give a name to Ghana. I want to change something. Like I want to put that Ghana on the map. You are putting Ghana on the map. Show us one more time. <laughs> Oh, for me, it's, 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 just, it's just so much a pleasure when I get to speak to you, young ones like this, you know. For all you young ones watching out there, this is the whole point of what this show is about. Celebrating Ghanaian ingenuity and the fact that you out there, no matter how young, start thinking creatively and intelligently, and you too can do it. Sandra, one more time. Done so well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, stick around. We'll be right back. The 
KSM Show.